supposed to do like the little light mod and I was supposed to do this bigger mod and more noticeable mod tomorrow but um, you know what the heck I'll just show you guys we'll do both mods in one video unless it gets quite too long but uh, so might as well come out with it open the truck let me go ahead and show you guys by the way I'm at my in-laws right now and he is loaded with tools so thank god for him mod number one Shelby GT 350R wheel been wanting one of these forever and here we go the big one the ibox sport lines about to drop this car and have to be really careful with more bumps but so finally getting this car moving along these are the first two mods that are really going to be on the car and as always sean here helping me out so let's get this started so we already started putting up the car and i'll bring you guys what's next after we actually get it in the air so see you After struggling life to get this back on this one part here it took about 30 minutes it's time to bring down the subframe so we're about to bring down the subframe so we can install this spring right here get this one out of the way put the new eye box so let's see we, have, we don't have any more problems with that one but this was a pain in the ass right here See how we do the other time, that's how long it takes. So we managed to get the spring out. So I can get that out. Springs out. Okay, these are yeah. fucking twice as heavy as the Okay, Okay, Yeah. You got it? Watch out, watch out. I'm about to raise it back up. So for you non-English speakers, we're raising it up. Uh, that way it'll compress so we can put the plate back. Okay, the plate's already there, so... Hold on. So, I didn't take a before picture. Crap, I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. But this is after. It's quite the difference. One, one and a half in the back and 1.3 in the front. I haven't done the front yet, but I'll work on it. But it's pretty much what it's gonna look like. Sitting nice and low. We started like at what? Seven? Nah. Eight. Eight. 8.30. 8.30. Two, two and a half? That's not too, too bad. We took most but of it's the- it's supposed to be two and a half. Well, that's because we took like an hour over here. We took 20 minutes over there because we already know what we were doing. So hopefully the front tires aren't, you know, we'll, we'll see how we do. Literally going off of YouTube, so. What we're trying to do is get the caliper off. There we can get in there. It's in the way. We're pretty much just trying to get in there. Was using the spring compression spring compressors to tighten up the spring so we're able to get that out um, the strut right get out of the strut so we can put the new eye box on it but um, honestly we're a little scared that that thing's gonna uh, kill us <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to be a little precautious Not kill us, but, but okay. seriously dangerous so <laughs> day two in the installation of the iBox Sport Lines lowering kit. We were supposed to be done last night, but it got really late. It was about one in the morning, and we were having quite a bit of trouble with the uh, spring compressors that AutoZone lent me. Um, I don't want to show you guys my face because I look pretty hideous right now. It's early in the morning. So, but, so we had really big problems with the, well, not really big problems, but the compressors were running into the strut tower. So, and they were kind of digging into it and cutting into it so we decided to just leave it alone and get some help from someone else one of the guys so um we're gonna see if we can go get the second strut tower off from the front and go ahead and take it to him that way he can just compress it and put the springs and then take it back home and i'll put it back together well i'll get help putting it back together so um 
that's what happened last night and it's raining and it's cold out so it should be a good day there she is guys there she is right where we left her last night so yeah still in the air hopefully today in about a you know, not so long from now, we'll have this fixed out, so should be okay, hopefully. Hey guys, so um, a lot of stuff has happened since I last recorded, um, uh, when I was taking the struts back to, when I, when I went back to work on the car. Uh, we decided to go get the struts done at a body shop, at one of the guys' body shop, he helped me, uh, he's, he's removed the spring from the strut. So he's in, he has a different spring compressor that's easier and not destroying my straight tire. So I uh, decided to go to him, but I decided to get a quick haircut, which took actually about two hours because some some guy cut and it was a big deal. But anyways, two hours late. I'm an hour late uh, behind schedule, so uh, I'm trying to get this out of the way quick. But uh, haircut done. I don't look like a caveman and uh, have the struts in the back I'm about to go to this guy's shop so we should get those springs um, changed real soon and then gotta go back home switch them put it back in the car and hopefully be able to take it for a drive so we get we get to the shop in the daily huh, the girl's car it's nice enough to lend it to me chris is here along with serge and his car huh, what can i say he just got some um, some race stars, so these things look pretty good. He he was the one racing the I don't know if you guys remember in the previous videos he raced a Corvette heads and cam. Yeah, this is a car. This is a Mustang I took on it, and honestly put a at least a good two cars on it. So right now he's getting some headers installed here. So stocks right here. Look at these things, man. So, let's go down here. So Chris, it's in your car, dude. The moment Chris tells us what's under his car is the moment I'll run Surge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, right? <laughs> it's not gonna be a while. <laughs> I think you might regret it. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. CTSV over here, putting 900 horsepower. Like Serge said, pretty special car, so. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. You don't see these very often in Laredo, so. Definitely a nice little treat to come here and see. So, like, like I said, we're just here to get the springs installed and struts. Struts are already removed. I got one of them off. This is the problem we were having though with the spring compressor from AutoZone. Ha. This is pretty much the problem we were having. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So right here, the spring compressor kept digging into the strut. So decided, you know what? Let's just go ahead and ask for some help. At least just to get these off. And then we'll get the rest of the car installed. So that's what he's here for. He's gonna help us out really quick. So let's get this done. Go. Yeah. I loosen it up. Yeah. Just like that. Strut done. Like nothing. So it could took forever to get this stupid spring compressor on. You just did it in like two minutes. Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I last finish this video I know a couple days has passed since I last finished this online video I know sorry I got real busy but anyways here is the final product on the car so it took a while well a couple hours but we got it done and here it is So as you can see, she sits nice and low now. So definitely like that stance. 
a lot a lot more than what it was um, finally got rid of this big 4x4 gap <laughs> um, certainly in the front too if I'm not mistaken it's a 1.5 1 1 in the uh, front uh, crap 1.3 uh, 1.5 drop in the rear and 1.3 drop in the front so um, getting the car nice and low into a nice and better stance overall and honestly I really dig it and like I said it's been a couple days since I finally installed this and I did get to drive around a bit and honestly I'm not gonna throw out any reviews on the springs right now but um, it rides pretty good this is a final product like I said I'm sorry it's been a couple days and I'm losing light again so this is the last you know it's trying to get the most out of whatever little day I have left but uh i hope you guys did enjoy this upload this is the new look to the car so i hope you guys do enjoy it as much as i do because i am in love with this look i mean the stance is just astounding and it's a lot better than what it was so i'm really enjoying these springs really enjoying the car and the love of the looks and and one more thing i do have one more mod coming in i'm not gonna say what it is but um you'll see it real soon just stay tuned so a lot more things coming for this car stay tuned like i said i hope you guys did enjoy this upload if you did give it a big thumbs up and if this is the first time you're watching this go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one okay ready ready